powered by the Montana Television Network. This is the 530 News on Q2, Montana's news leader. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Janelle Slade. President Trump says he wants to simplify the tax code and reduce your taxes. Today, the president unveils a framework he says is a once in a generation opportunity and a boon for the middle class and American workers. The Republican plan calls for sweeping tax cuts and reduces the number of American tax brackets. In fact, Trump claims most people will be able to do their taxes on one sheet of paper. The plan is getting full support from the Republican congressional delegation from Montana. Representative Greg Gianforte says most people and businesses will get a break. Working families across Montana are going to be able to keep more of their hard-earned money. And small businesses are going to see about a 40% drop in their taxes. Uh, I think this is a good thing. Uh, we put this money back into the economy. Uh, we're going to see more jobs for all Montanans. Senator Steve Dane says the plan is a step in the right direction to creating jobs and will ignite a sluggish economy. Senator Tester is cautious but does see some things he likes. His biggest concern is adding more debt for future generations. The White House and congressional Republicans hope to push through a tax reform bill by the end of the year. You can read more detail about this tax proposal at KTVQ.com. A politically charged post on the Ringling Bar Facebook page just south of White Sulphur Springs is getting a lot of attention today. The owner of the bar stands behind his post that criticizes NFL players who take a knee during the national anthem to protest police brutality. Q2's Asia Gore spoke with him today and joins us now with more Asia. Janelle, when I spoke with Ringling Bar co-owner Kurt Beckman, he doubled down on his statement saying his bar doesn't need business from those who disagree with him. Here's what he wrote on the bar's Facebook page, quote, The Ringling Bar will no longer show any NFL games. This will allow us to air the PBR, rodeo, and NASCAR events whose competitors are true Americans. The post has received hundreds of comments and shares many of the comments in support of Beckman's de decision. The post stems from some NFL players' decision to take a knee during the national anthem in protest of police brutality. President Trump called on the players to be fired. And Beckman echoed that sentiment, sentiment, saying professional football players owe this country their career. Beckman stands behind his beliefs and says he is not afraid to lose business. I would not care if non-Americans didn't patronize the place. I bet you wouldn't see any farmers or ranchers in our whole country take a knee such as these guys do. I bet you couldn't find one. They appreciate what our great nation has given them. That's the least you could do to give thanks to our country to stand and respect our flag and the anthem. Beckerman said he has not received any calls about the post and the issue has stayed on Facebook. You can go to our Facebook page right now and weigh in yourself. Janelle? All right, thanks so much, Asia. Secretary of the Interior Ryan Zinke faces backlash today for comments he made about a perceived lack of loyalty to the flag within the Interior Department. In his speech to an oil industry group on Monday, Zinke said 30 percent of his employees lack loyalty and are at odds with Trump administration. Today, Senator Maria Cantwell, the top Democrat on the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, blast Zink, blasted Zinke's comments. She said Interior Department employees instead deserve respect from the man charged with leading them, not cheap shots in the press. Zinke then added, quote, there's too many ways in the present process for someone who doesn't want to get a regulatory action done to put it in a holding pattern. There are now 700,000 employees at the U.S. Department of the Interior. An old option for women in labor is now making a resurgence, allowing moms-to-be to take control of their pain without drugs. Nitrous oxide, which is most commonly used in the form of laughing gas at the dentist office, can also be used for pain management during labor. At Billings Clinic, women can self-administer nitrous oxide throughout labor to reduce pain and help them relax. The mix is 50% nitrous, 50% oxygen, making it slightly less potent than the stuff you get at the dentist. The option, popular in many European countries, relieves some pain without opioids and without needles. The way that nitrous oxide works is it helps with disassociating you from the pain. So often moms will still feel um, that discomfort but they're relaxed and they don't care as much that they're feeling that way, um, that they're having that pain. Um, so 
unlike an epidural where you would have that elimination of pain, um, you have a disassociation from it. Unlike some pain medications used in childbirth, nitrous oxide leaves the system within minutes and has no effect on the baby. After months of hard work and planning, St. Vincent de Paul opened the doors to its new location today. Q2 Samantha Harrelson was there this morning and has more on what this new location means for the organization. Sammy. Janelle, St. Vincent de Paul bought the vacant Crane Building in South Billings last year and were finally able to open their doors today. The new location gives the organization more room to serve and grow. Riverstone Health will be joining them at the new location with two counselors, one for mental health and one to help those with addiction, as well as a physician and nurse. Vicki Massey, recently named executive director, says they'll also be able to provide all of the same services they did at their previous location. I love St. Vincent de Paul. I love our mission. I love helping people. Um, I'm excited about the events to come. I'm excited about some things we have in the works. Um, it's, it's just an exciting time. I can't even put it into words. Massey says while they have moved, their downtown store is still open. They will relocate the store to their new location in the next few months, but it will remain open downtown until then. Janelle. All right. Thanks so much, Sammy. After a devastating fire season in Montana, U.S. Forest Service mapping now shows just two major fires burning in Montana, and they're almost out. The Lolo Peak fire has burned close to 54,000 acres. It's about 90% contained today. The Forest Service estimates the blaze will be out by October 31st. Meanwhile, the Rice Ridge Fire, which burned more than 160,000 acres near Sealy Lake, is still active. That fire is 77% contained, and the Forest Service plans to have it out by October 15th. Fire statewide burned more than 1 million acres this season, making this Montana's most costly fire season in about two decades. Well, as we talked about air quality this summer, there were not a lot of positive things to say about it. MTN's Augusta McDonald sat down with Missoula County's air quality specialist, a woman featured in the Washington Post for spicing up those depressing daily updates with her sense of humor. I noticed that that one got some traction from the harbinger of doom and sadness. Sarah Cofield says she and her colleagues tried to make the best of being the bearers of bad news. If I wasn't able to put in the uh, more lighthearted moments, that would make it even harder for me. Uh, it's, it's impossible for me to not kind of have these little undercurrents of wry statements just kind of going through my brain. And if I can put them out there and other people can enjoy them, then that's all the better. Because otherwise it can be very dry. I've written many very dry, very boring policy documents. I have plenty of experience writing things that you don't want to read. Twice daily updates sent out across the region became known for making people laugh. You could see it coming at us. So I had on here the smoke whammy approaches, not going to lie. As we watch this plume move across the country on the GO-16 satellite loop, your other friendly local air specialist and I saying ride of the Valkyries badly. It may have sounded like out of tune kazoos. We have fun. And that was the truth. We sat here and went, do 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 However, Cofield's humor is bittersweet. Some folks were hit really, really hard and got really, really sick. Many people in schools especially were not prepared for this summer. Between writing updates, she was scrambling to pull together enough air filters for schools and anyone else who needed them. And sometimes they had to tell people no. Cofield and other researchers are now trying to figure out what some of the long-term health effects of this unprecedented wildfire smoke season might be. This summer was no laughing matter, but the air quality team hoped the light touch was appreciated. Be compassionate for your neighbors. Um, we are all in it together and it's going to happen again. Um, but we can take care of each other and uh, try to protect yourself and get a filter for next year. Reporting in Missoula, I'm Augusta McDonald for MTN News. And Augusta tells us besides having a cache of air filters from this summer, they are already preparing for the next season of poor air quality. Well, the generosity seems to know no end thanks to the support from people all across the country. Nearly $300,000 have been raised to benefit Montana communities. The entire nation has rallied around our Big Sky home and every single donation will stay in Montana to help Montanans. You can still donate by going to our website at KTBQ.com. Up next on your Q2 530 News, 
Take a look. This pumpkin is tipping the scales at 500 pounds, and it's right here in Billings. We'll check it out. And in sports, Scott shows us if West High's Joey Moore goes back to back on state golf titles. And coming up in weather, clearing skies again today. Now tonight, we're expecting to see mostly clear skies as well and mild temperatures, but we are starting to see some more rain move into our forecast beginning Saturday night. We'll tell you all about that coming up in a few more minutes. You're watching MTN News with Jay Cohn and Janelle Slade. Storm Tracker Weather with Bob McGuire and Sports with Scott Green.